SpaceX has revolutionized the space industry with its reusable rockets. And everyone wants a piece of that success, especially China. With dozens of private space companies emerging across China, many are taking a shortcut, copying SpaceX's winning formula. But as one Chinese company recently discovered, mimicking Elon Musk's rockets isn't as simple as it looks. When their SpaceX lookalike rocket exploded during landing, it exposed a crucial truth. You can copy the design, but you can't copy the decades of engineering expertise behind it. Think of it like trying to recreate a masterpiece painting. Having the same canvas and colors doesn't mean you'll capture the magic of the original. From Land Space's JK2 to Space Pioneer's Tianlong 3, Chinese companies are racing to build their own versions of the Falcon 9. But here's what makes this story fascinating. While China has successfully replicated everything from smartphones to cars, rockets are proving to be their toughest challenge yet. I'm Elon Musk, 24 hours, and today we're pulling back the curtain on China's ambitious attempt to match SpaceX's success, what went wrong, and why building rockets is in a league of its own. Let's dive right in. The scale of China's space ambitions becomes clear when you look at the numbers. In 2013, they invested $6.1 billion in their space program. Fast forward to 2023, and that number has skyrocketed to over $14 billion. But as Deep Blue Aerospace's recent failed landing demonstrates, money alone can't solve everything. Let's break down what's really happening in China's private space sector. At first glance, some of these rockets look so similar to SpaceX's designs that you might do a double take. Take the Nebula one, for instance. At 11 feet in diameter, it's just shy of Falcon 9's 12 feet. The landing legs, grid fins, even the paint scheme all bear striking similarities. But here's where things get interesting. While it can lift about 4,000 pounds to low Earth orbit, that's less than a tenth of what Falcon 9 can carry. Behind this performance gap lies a fascinating story of technological challenges. Chinese companies have mastered the art of replicating the visible aspects of SpaceX's rockets, but they're missing crucial elements that make Falcon 9 truly revolutionary. It's like having the blueprint for a Formula One car, but not understanding the intricate engine management systems that make it perform at its peak. Take Landspace's JK2 rocket, for example. They've adopted SpaceX's choice of methane and liquid oxygen propellants, a smart move on paper. But what they're struggling with is the complex choreography of landing a 40-meter-tall rocket precisely on its feet. SpaceX spent years perfecting this dance through countless failures and iterations. One former SpaceX engineer told me privately that the company went through over 3,000 simulated landing scenarios before they even attempted their first real landing. Space Pioneer's Qianlong 3 represents another ambitious attempt to match SpaceX's capabilities. They're promising up to 10 reuses per rocket. Sound familiar? But here's what makes this story compelling. While SpaceX achieved this through years of incremental improvements and public failures, Chinese companies are trying to leapfrog this learning curve. The results? Mixed at best. The launch statistics tell an even more striking story. In 2023, SpaceX completed 98 launches, an absolutely staggering number that showcases their mastery of rapid reusability. China's entire space industry, combining both government and private launches, managed 67 launches in the same year. What's remarkable isn't just the number gap, it's the cost efficiency. SpaceX has driven launch costs down to about $3,000 per kilogram of payload, setting a benchmark that Chinese companies are struggling to match. But here's where the plot thickens. While Chinese companies grapple with these technical challenges, SpaceX faces its own battles, not with technology, but with regulation. The FAI has become an unexpected antagonist in SpaceX's story, imposing strict environmental reviews and launch restrictions. Just last year, SpaceX faced two separate groundings of their Falcon 9 fleet within two months, once after a Starlink mission malfunction, and again after a booster landing failure. This regulatory environment creates an interesting dynamic. While Chinese companies have more freedom to test and fail, they're playing catch up on fundamental technologies. SpaceX, despite having mastered these technologies, often finds itself waiting months for launch approvals. In 2023 alone, 
environmental reviews delayed several critical Starship tests, with each new consultation potentially adding 60 days to the timeline. Space Epic, one of China's newest players, perfectly illustrates both the ambition and limitations of this copying strategy. They're building a stainless steel rocket that bears more than a passing resemblance to Starship. But while they've figured out how to work with the material, they're still struggling with basic components like propellant tanks, components SpaceX perfected years ago. The most telling detail comes from examining the landing attempts. When Deep Blue Aerospace's rocket exploded during landing, it wasn't just a technical failure. It exposed the gap between copying a design and understanding the underlying physics. SpaceX's rockets perform hundreds of precise adjustments during descent, using sophisticated algorithms developed through thousands of test flights and simulations. This deep technical knowledge isn't something you can reverse engineer from photographs or public specifications. What makes this story particularly compelling is the contrast in approaches. Chinese companies are essentially trying to run a race while simultaneously building their shoes. SpaceX, having already perfected their footwear, is now focused on breaking speed records, even with regulatory hurdles in their path. This brings us to an important question about the future of commercial spaceflight. As we've seen, China's journey to match SpaceX reveals a crucial lesson. Innovation isn't just about copying what works, it's about understanding why it works. While Chinese companies have made impressive strides in replicating SpaceX's designs, the real challenge lies in mastering the invisible complexities that make these rockets truly revolutionary. The space race of the 2020s isn't just about who can build the biggest rocket or launch the most satellites. It's about who can combine cutting-edge technology with deep engineering expertise and operational efficiency. Space at Kix's decade-long head start isn't just about their designs. It's about the thousands of small lessons learned from both successes and failures. Speaking of success, you're part of ours. If you found this deep dive into the space industry fascinating, help us reach more space enthusiasts by hitting that like button and subscribing to Elon Musk 24 hours. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on China's space ambitions. Will they eventually catch up to SpaceX or will the technological gap continue to widen? Want to stay updated on the latest developments in the space industry? Ring that notification bell to never miss an upload. And remember, in the race to space, there are no shortcuts to success, only innovation and perseverance. See you in our next video.